The man we thought might live forever has died. Jack LaLanne did more to promote and popularize physical fitness than any other American individual. And he started doing it so long ago, he was roundly criticized at the time for his crazy ideas. Get up on your feet and let's go, everybody. The Jack LaLanne Show, which millions of us were raised on, started on local TV in San Francisco, featuring Jack and his dog named Happy, and then it went national in 1959. He lifted weights back when nobody else did, back when stretching and aerobics were considered oddities. Jack was like a hyperactive uncle in a blue polyester jumpsuit with a built-in belt who cajoled Americans into getting up and getting moving, often along with his wife, Elaine LaLanne. He was 5'6 and weighed all of 150 pounds. He worked out two hours a day, every day, not because he loved it, because he wanted to stay fit. To live long, you've got to train like you're training for an athletic event. You've got to exercise. Exercise is king, nutrition's queen. Put them together, you've got a kingdom. He did all kinds of stunts to promote fitness and himself, swimming to Alcatraz, towing boats behind him. He opened that famous chain of fitness spas, and TV and, uh, viewers in recent Jackie's years know him from hawking the power juicer. Home. I appreciate it. While his 3,000 TV shows will live on forever, Jack LaLanne is gone at the age of 96.